Hey guys, so today we're going to be trying an interesting collection from Essence. It is, it is their High Beauty Collection. The entire collection, I believe, is infused with like hemp or CBD or something. I have used a few CBD products in the past. I've used a serum from Derma E and a sunscreen. I forget what brand that one's from. And I've liked them so far. They've kind of reduced the redness and irritation on my skin. So I am curious to see what I think of this collection from Essence. We have a primer, a lip balm, an under eye concealer. We have a mascara, a setting spray, a powder. So let's jump right in. My lips are super dry right now, so I'm really curious to see what this High Beauty Caring Lip Balm does. It says with hemp seed oil and plant waxes, regenerating and it's vegan. It's a soft rose lip balm texture for smooth and regenerated lips. Hemp seed oil, vitamin E, and a blend of rich plant oils, castor, sunflower, and olive oil. It melts into the skin, leaving lips, leaving lips soft and supple with a natural finish. My lips need it right now, so let's try this. I'm not sure if you can see, but there is like a light pink shade to it, a light pink tint. Feels like a lip oil on the lips. Very, very subtle rose fragrance. I don't like rose and this is not bothering me. So far so good, let's move on to the next product, which is the face primer. This is the High Beauty Hydrating Face Primer with Caring Hemp Seed Oil, Moisturizing, Refreshing, and Vegan. Soft yellow, lightweight primer formulation for a healthy looking radiant complexion. The creamy texture applies smoothly and results in a soft translucent finish. Moisturizing, refreshing, and caring primer texture with hemp seed oil and magnolia extract. Use alone or um, under the makeup for all skin tones. Okay, so it is yellow. Okay, let's try it. Feel like a primer, it just feels like a lotion. Okay, it sinks in quickly. It might look like it's glittery in the camera, but I actually had some fallout from my shadow and that is probably what glitter you're seeing on my face. It sunk in quickly. I would say that it is a pretty much matte, soft, translucent finish. It definitely does that. I mean, I don't think it looks like I'm wearing makeup, so it doesn't do anything to even out the skin tone or blur pores or anything, but my skin feels nice. Like it soaked in really fast. And I don't see a yellow cast on my skin either. So, so far so good. Next up, we have the High Beauty. Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Now there were two shades. This is the lighter of the two. It's Brightening Under Eye Cream Concealer. The caring and moisturizing texture with buildable coverage results in an optical anti-puff effect and a refreshed finish for tired looking skin with hemp seed oil. This one's the shade One Rose Beige. That's what the applicator looks like. It's like a small doe foot. And the shade is right here. I might need the darker shade actually. This looks very light. This is the deeper shade. This one is two peach beige. So let's try that too. Okay, one's more pink tone. So the number one is more pinky tone. Number two is more of a peach tone. Okay, so this is before and after. I mean, it definitely brightened, but I don't really think it counteracted the blue. So let me try the deeper shade in those darker blue areas. And then the brighter shades in the corners. I kind of reversed it. It's a very lightweight. It's almost like a watery consistency. It's not super thick like a concealer. Okay, did it counteract some of the blue? 
it did, but I still feel like I can see a lot of the shadow, so I would still need like a brightening concealer on top. We'll see if the hemp oil does anything to hydrate and depuff over time, but as of right now, this is the difference before and after. The next product that we have from this line is the High Beauty Organic Hemp Seed and Oil and Sunflower Wax Conditioning and Strengthening Vegan Volume Mascara. Looks like this. Now, I'm very picky with my mascaras. I don't want them to run. I want them to be inky black. I want them to separate and lengthen. So we'll see if this one can do that. It just says Conditioning and Strengthening Volume Mascara with Organic Hemp Seed Oil and Plant Waxes. So I already have the top lashes done, so we will see what happens. It looks like a fairly small, straight wand. It's not tapered, it's not hourglass from what I can see. Might be ever so slightly spiraled. here is one coat it looks decent it's very black it's coating my lashes well it's separating it feels like a very again like a lightweight formula it's not thick it's not sticky let's go in with a second layer It builds very nicely. I like that. Let's push it with one more layer. And that is how I like my mascara. Separated, black, lengthened, You can definitely see the difference. I like it so far. Okay, the last two products need to be done over foundation or over makeup. So I'm gonna hop off, finish the face products, and we'll be back to try the High Beauty Fixing Compact Powder, which I'm hoping is not as green as it shows, and the High Beauty Mattifying Makeup Fixing Mist. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with concealer and foundation on, and I wanted to see what this high beauty powder would do. I did swatch it already on my hand right here. And it doesn't really look like it gives a green cast at all. So I'm going to try it everywhere but the under eyes because I don't want to add any more green blue shades under the eyes. definitely reduces the shine. I don't feel like I look like Kermit on this side compared to this side. So that's good. It doesn't leave a green cast. It just kind of helped to mattify everything. Would I say it blurred a little bit right here? But I think that might have also been the foundation that I used. So I like it so far. So let me finish the face. Okay, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of CoverGirl powder underneath the eyes. And I do like the way that the high beauty powder kind of finished everything off with it didn't darken my makeup it didn't make it more green I like this I've tried other green powders one from Ulta and I feel like it had too much green chalkiness to it this one seems to be like the perfect fine amount of green and translucent powder so I like this shouldn't really surprise me I feel like Essence has done a really good job with a lot of their powders in the past the last product to try from this high beauty line is the mattifying makeup fixing mist which were already pretty matte, but I want to see what the nozzle looks like, if there's a fragrance, if there's a color, if there's a tint. So it says, little spa experience for your face. Mattifying makeup fixing spray with hydrating hemp complex and ever matte from Sederma. For a revitalized moisturized and matte complexion, the light refreshing mist reliably fixes the makeup. It says, shake product briefly and spray evenly onto the face from a distance of approximately 20 to 30 centimeters. That's what we're going to do. Now let's see what this sprayer is like. Hmm, that smells really nice. It does kind of smell like a spa. 
All right, let's try it. Hmm. A little lavender in there. That's nice. Now it says mattifying, but I feel like it adds a little bit of moisture back to the face. I don't know. So far, I like this. I've liked some of their other ones in the past. There was one that had like this iridescent pinky pearl shade, which was really pretty. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this high beauty collection. The primer was nice and moisturizing, sank in quickly. The lip balm, the lip gloss, the lip balm I still have on my lips and still feels really nice and hydrating. The two under eye brightening concealers. I don't think you can wear these alone, but in conjunction with the concealer, I think that it definitely helps to kind of color correct the blue and the purple under the eyes. The mascara I think looks really nice so far. Granted, I haven't finished the eyes off with the lower lash shadow and mascara, but it still looks really nice. And the powder, I have no complaints. So overall, I would say that this line was a hit. A thumbs up for me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.